Hello all, welcome to oratechnics.com. In this Oracle database programming session, we'll discuss about unpivot clause, which is also an aggregate function. The agenda of this particular session is all about understanding about unpivot and writing queries about writing queries using unpivot clause. Let us understand about pivot as well as unpivot definition first. Pivot functionality is about converting rows into columns. For the number of rows which you have, you'll have that number of columns. That's all about pivot functionality. Coming to the unpivot, for each column, you'll find a new row. Let us say you have five columns, and for each column, if you use unpivot functionality, you'll have five rows. That's all about unpivot. So let us get into unpivot functionality, the syntax, and the examples. So as we discussed, unpivot is all about converting columns into row. For each column, you'll find a new row. So here, if you observe the left side, the syntax of the unpivot, so before unpivot, whatever the things which we have, the normal SQL query, whatever you write it, generally in the select select clause, you'll write a select list. In the from clause, you'll write the list of table name. And the next important functionality is about unpivot. So the, in the unpivot here, if you observe, we just have main three important things. Like uh, after unpivot, we have a keyword called include or exclude nulls. If at all, if you want to include null values or if you don't want to exclude null values just mention them appropriately include nulls or exclude nulls after that we have three important things column for clause as well as in clause okay so the column is nothing but the column name which you want to represent in the output and for clause is nothing but what is the value you are expecting the value like uh, see for each column you'll have a column name and the value name for a column, you'll have a value, right? So the column name, whatever the thing which you mentioned for the column, column value, the, whatever the value, whatever the information which you mentioned for the column name, that represents the column name in the output. And then the and the for clause, you have to mention the value. So that value will be provided in the output. So in the in clause is nothing but like, a, what are the list of columns you want to represent in the output? Nothing but let us say in the in clause, I mentioned like, um, I want to represent a manager comma department member. So what will happen is in the column name, I will have a manager. I, in the column name for one row, I have manager and the other in the next row, I'll have a department. So that should have a value, right? So that particular value column will have the whatever the thing which you mentioned for the for a clause. Okay. So that represents the that represents the column name for the value. Okay. So nothing but for each of them, like whatever the in the in clause, how many number of columns you mentioned, that number of extra rows you'll get it. Okay. So that's a description we mentioned here. One more important thing is when you are using the unpivot functionality, and if at all, if you are extracting the data, all the set of columns should be of the same type. It either it should be number or a varchar, whatever it is, it should be of same data type. Okay. We'll be seeing two examples of this one to understand the total functionality of unpivot. Okay. So let us get into the next slide for the example. So as you know that like a Programming is always understanding about the logical functionality of it. So theoretically, we may not get everything. So that's why even we have this particular information, we may not get exact value until unless you start working on it. That's the reason our session is all always have examples for the provided functionality. Okay, let us see the samples then. Okay, the first example here, if you observe, so the left side represents the functionality without using unpivot. And the right side provides the functionality using unpivot. Okay, so without unpivot, with unpivot. Here, if you observe, what are we trying to do here? So the functionality which we are trying to achieve is in the left side here. If you observe, I just mentioned like uh, in the first particular query, I mentioned a column name as MGR, as a column type, and the value as MGR. And similarly, union I mentioned. After that, I mentioned like a column name, column type as department number, and the value as department number okay so now here if you see the below screenshot which is having the set of like i just represented only 10 records in the column type let us say for employee 100 here if you observe for the column type mgr i have the department like uh, the, this particular column name right so what was the column name like uh, this one okay so like uh, the column type is mgr and for this one right here if you observe like uh, it is representing like a department underscore manager, but here, like instead of department manager, it may be representing MGR, okay? Because whatever the thing which you mentioned the first query, that will be provided output here, okay? So for the for for first row, the column type is manager, you have some value, and the second row, because I I mentioned like here by default, what will happen is it will sort the data, right? When you use a union by by default, it sort the data on the first column. So that is why I'm getting the data based on the EMP number assorted, and column type manager, I have this value null. 
and column type department number i have 10 okay so you'll be we are like when we execute this particular query you'll get the same result okay let us see that functionality then so i'll just copy this query okay i'll just execute here so here if you observe okay so here i have the column type as a manager right because whatever the thing which you mentioned for the first what are the whatever the column name you you mentioned for the first query that will be represented but as per the logic it has to be like this okay department underscore manager okay now what is happening like i'm getting this one and by default the data will get sorted based on the emp number so for each particular column i have one record right nothing but like now in this particular functionality without using unpowered what is happening for each particular query like a, in the first query i'm getting mgr in the second query i'm department and then i'm just clubbing it right so for nothing but for each particular employee i'll get two records nothing but here if you observe total records i'll get 40 okay now let us say instead of using this particular logic i'll try to use unpowered just see this functionality i'll execute the query and then we can explain the syntax i'll just see the number of rows you'll see 40 rows okay and here if you observe let us start from this particular one like uh, line number six the line number six i mentioned select star from followed by select star from emp so till this place like uh, from line number six to nine it is a normal sql query there is nothing speciality there right the simple no sql query here if you, have, you just see the rows it is just 20. it is just 20 but when you're using unpivot i got extra two columns right so here if you observe i just have the data till like a four, five, six, seven, eight, only eight columns. But when I execute this particular functionality, what will happen is, so we'll get two extra columns, okay? We'll get two extra columns. One is department manager, one is one column name is department manager, other one is column type, okay? Just see this one, then you'll understand. So here, if you observe, what is the thing? Whatever the thing which you mentioned, the for a clause, column type, okay? This mention, like whatever you mentioned, the for clause, like a for each for each particular department member or manager have a record. So nothing but for this particular employee, I have one record for MGR, other record for department member, and also the value. So what is the column name of value? Department underscore manager. Where did you mention this one? Department underscore manager. This is a one, right? This is a column name. This is a column name for the purpose of value. This is a column name for the column type. This call see what like whatever you mentioned in the for class that is a column type and what are you mentioned in the in this particular column as per the functionality of the syntax right the first particular syntax after the unpivot what are you mentioned this this becomes the value for your column name okay so this is a functionality which you can use using unpivot okay let us see the next example of using unpivot that is very very interesting example let us see this example too so here if you observe there are some particular functionalities where you mean you want to pass all the set of columns into rows like in some of the web application let us say you know like um, maybe they don't they want to extract the data from the database generally like we know that most of the application uses the RDBM, rdbms functionality in which all the data will be stored in the record record by fashion there are chances it could be it could be uh design of the application or it could be design of the user interface or it could be design of the you know like um, the technology in which they are using they want to have they want to get the data in a particular row kind of fashion rather than column kind of fashion i want to get the data in a row kind of fashion so how can you achieve that functionality using the unpivot in a very easier manner so just observe the old kind of functionality nothing but without using unpivot let us say if i want to get all the particular columns as a rows now here if you example in this one i just provided only two particular column values like uh, for this EMP number 7839. Let us say I want to get all the columns in a row kind of fashion. I just provided only screenshot of two, two particular uh, columns here. So how do you do it? Again, the same functionality, you have to use union. Without using union, using the unpivot, how can we achieve it? So here, if you observe the left side, just see this particular functionality. The output of this unpivot here I provided, like column and the value. So for the column, whatever you mentioned here, right? whatever you mentioned for the for clause okay whatever you mentioned for the for clause that becomes a column name and whatever you mentioned in this first one like after unprivate parenthesis what you mentioned that becomes the column name for your values column name for your values so for this example i just considered only one employee number 7839 okay i'll just take this particular uh, like a query and then you know we can discuss more on this one okay so i'll just remove all these things okay okay i hard coded for the one employee number that is why you know you are able to see only the eight columns okay and also here if you observe let us start with the first thing i am using a with clause okay it is just for information purpose without using with clause also we can achieve the same functionality now if you just execute till line number nine 
just the simple one we are getting a single record right single record like this without using unpivot let us say what is happening when i use unpivot and also here if you observe i have converted all this list of all the column values to character okay and then after that from the line number 10 i used a clause called unpivot and also i mentioned include nulls then this is my column name for the values okay and for each particular column whichever column i want i want to get all the set of columns i want to get all these columns let us see if i mention only these two columns let's see what happens right you'll get only two rows let us see if you mention only one thing okay column name and value let us say now here if you observe one interesting thing right well, let me show you again emp number emp number and e name emp number e name i am taking the unpivot class okay now what is happening in this particular initial list that, that those particular columns are removed in this particular initial set of columns those values which you select in the for clause are removed from the main result let us say if you mention job now what will happen this job whichever is getting represented here will not come here just see that can you see now job came here and similarly if you mention all the list of values all the column values you will not have anything you will not have anything left right you will get all the things here and you'll see all them all of them as a row kind of fashion that's a functionality here if at all if you are using some particular column here in the unpivot that will not be represented in the normal result isn't it now let us see if i remove department number what will happen can you see this department number came here and the, for the remaining column and values which you have provided in the unpivot they are represented here because the reason is simply you mentioned select star here we mentioned select star we have not mentioned anything explicit column name here okay so explore this particular unpivot functionality and you can get more insights into this one okay and if you want some reference you can just refer this particular uh, oracle documentation thank you